All right, what's up everybody? Uh, my name is Steven Aldaco and I've been living in my Honda Element for two years. I'm here at a government auction and I saw they had a really cool deal on a Sprinter. So in today's video, we're gonna check out that Sprinter and we're gonna give you some tips if you're shopping for a used vehicle, how to get the best deal and what to look out for when you're searching for a new van that's used. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and let's check these Sprinters out or the Sprinter out. <laughs> It's looking good. So one thing you want to look for is the tires and just make sure that you may have to replace the tires and it looks like this one we might have to, but I think the tires I have on my current vehicle should fit. So that's a, it's a good sign. You just want to make sure there's no like un, uneven wear on the tires so if you see uneven uneven wear that's usually a bad sign usually something wrong with like the suspension and components Alrighty then so this looks like it's going to be a fixer upper for sure interesting so this is like some mobile office or something before I mean, the plan is just to tear it all apart, right? And just kind of revamp it up. But I, I do kind of like this desk. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of cool, as a matter of fact. And the walls are already there and they're not too terrible. I feel like this was like a mobile interrogation room. Like someone's sitting right here and you get interrogated by the police in this thing. Very interesting. I'm not mad about it. Maybe there's like maintenance records. That would be great. So that's the uh, brake caliper and it looks like on, if it looks like it's pretty even wear on the brake caliper, which is a really good sign. Uh, that's awesome. So we're underneath the car and it looks like it's pretty wet there by the oil pan. It might be leaking oil a little bit, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Um, the belt looks like in good condition. So those are things to check. And then let's see what's over here. Yeah, it looks like maybe a seal or something here is leaking because yeah, there's like oil underneath there. So those aren't like the worst signs in the world, but it's something to look out for, for sure. Underneath the hood, you want to look for signs like if there's coolant splashing around, you might see like a bunch of white, like little things hanging around. You want to look at the fluids make sure the fluids are topped off and like fresh. Like that wiper fluid looks really fresh. See what's in here. Definitely looks like there's fluid in there. Uh, around the battery, you wanna make sure there's no like corrosion around the battery or anything like that. The battery looks good. It looks really well maintained. It's clean in here. Definitely looks like there's food in here as well. Yeah. And the fluid's clean in there, that's nice. It's a good sign. This thing's looking really good, you guys. Gonna make sure there's engine oil. It looks clean. That's good. That's really good. Wow. So you wanna make sure there's, if there's any jumping here, that's a bad sign. Oh, it's coming out good, but it's not jumping around, so that's good.
thing looks really nice, you guys. No joke. All right, let's make sure that it starts up. No problem. No problem at all. Another thing to check is like the panels. You want to make sure the panels are all original. There's not like really big gaps when you compare it to the other sides. And you don't want any reflections in the paint and it should be all smooth like it was from the factory. That way you know it's not in any uh, sort of collision. This thing runs really, really good. I am super excited at how well this runs. So the only thing about this is that it's an auction. So I have to win the auction, kind of like eBay. So wish me luck. So this is the other Sprinter they have, which is a dually, meaning it has the uh, four wheels in the back. The tires look like in much better condition. And uh, it looks like it's a public library um, van. So. It probably has like minimal use and nothing crazy, probably just to and from in the street. So this might be a good pick too. It has this big lift in the back, which I would probably just take off and sell. But let's get underneath this thing and see what we got. So that's not a good sign is like oil everywhere it seems looks like there's a big oil leak around here so that's not a good sign at all the suspension looks great the frame looks great but that oil leak is not great i wonder where it's coming from hmm all right so it's a couple days later and i was feeling really good about the van and i was like all right i'm gonna go for it but I did one last check and I got my uh, OBD2 scanner and uh, every vehicle I think past the year of 1996 has this scanner and it's really cheap. You can buy it on eBay for like 40 bucks and I'll leave a link down below in the description so you can get one if you don't have one. But I went to scan it and it showed that it had an engine code and when you find those types of problems, it's usually a good idea to walk away depending on what the code is. And on this particular van, it was a P2006, I believe, which means you're gonna have to change out the entire intake manifold system, like a $2,000 repair, something like that. Uh, for me, I was like, okay, it's time to walk away from this vehicle and kind of wait around for a better deal. But um, if you're mechanically inclined, you can always you know, factor that in to the price and maybe you can negotiate a better price if you find a vehicle code like that. But that thing saved me from a huge and possibly expensive repair. And just a couple other things that I didn't get to show in that video. When you turn the engine on, if you have a friend, they can rev on the gas, especially on diesel engines. And you can look out the exhaust to see if there's any like blue or black smoke or excesses or excessive smoke. And that's usually a bad sign um, for the vehicle. And uh, during the test drive, you wanna make sure that you listen for any squeaks, any squeals, make sure to turn the wheel all the way to one direction the wheel all the way to the other direction. Listen for the brakes. If you hear any sound with the brakes, uh, those are things to look out for. And of course, if you're very serious about the vehicle, take it to a trained professional mechanic. It's like a hundred bucks, 150 bucks, but it can save you a ton of money and possibly avoid uh, you finding a lemon. One more thing to check on the suspension. I'll show you on the element um, what to look out for and make sure the suspension is good. Let's check it out. Here we are on the element and we'll push down a little bit. And basically what you're looking for there is to see that if the suspension springs back to its normal rate, and if it does, that means it's a good sign and that the suspension is not broken. So that's it guys, thank you for watching today's video. I guess we're still hunting for our van. If you're selling a van, hit me up, let me know. And if you're not already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We're super close to 1,000 subscribers and I'm hoping we can hit that mark on my birthday this year, June 27th, 2021. So thank you guys so much for your support and your help and thank you for watching today's video. We'll see you next time. Peace.